It's 816 right now. Coming up, all the highlights from last night's Grammys. Plus, one of our favorite guys is going to be joining us, Harry Connick Jr. I love him. And he's got an interesting topic coming up on his show. We're going to talk to him about raising boys to act like respectable men. That and a lot more when we come back. It is 822 right now. Okay. How did men like Harvey Weinstein become the way they are? That's a question many have been asking as more and more women share their stories. Well, on his show tomorrow, Harry Connick Jr. addresses the topic of how to raise sons to grow up and become respectable men in today's world. We have to teach our sons to respect their sisters, their mothers, their teachers, any women in their lives from the time that they can think. Uh, women are not objects for men to pursue. It is a level playing field. And however we used to think, uh, the sort of hunter, aggressor, uh, that, that, that whole way of thinking is done. And All right, and uh, Harry joins us now to, to talk about that show, a very important show. And, and here's the thing, Harry, uh, you're talking about raising respectable men in our society. You have three daughters. So, I mean, this is not only a timely topic. Uh, this is something very personal to you, I would imagine. It really is. Uh, thanks for having me on the show. You know, on, on, the, on my show, on the Harry show, every day we start with a segment called Can Harry Help? And people stand up and they ask me questions that I have not heard before, and I certainly haven't planned out the answers. Uh, and this woman stood up and asked me, by the way, the questions span the range of silly and funny to serious and this woman asked me what I thought about raising sons and I am not a therapist and I'm not sort of medically qualified to give uh, advice about that but I tell people things honestly and I try to tell them with as much humility as I can what I think uh, and this was an opportunity for me to tell America, what I thought about maybe uh, things we could help to do to, to, to raise our sons to be uh, upstanding, respectful young men. And uh, I'm just glad I had the chance to do it. And I think people are responding positively to it. And I feel very honored about that. Well, you, you are a true Southern gentleman. And, uh, you know, you're raising these girls. What would you say? I'm going to ask you a question like an audience member. What would you say to someone like Harvey Weinstein, if you could, and these people that are doing these things? No matter... Well, I, I think uh, Harvey is, is a very, very sick uh, man, and, and, and I think that uh, what's supposed to happen to him is going to happen to him. All I could really say, though, and more importantly to me, is that these women are coming forward. I think the fact that these women, uh, and in some cases men, are coming forward about sexual abuse is absolutely paramount, and we find ourselves in a climate where I think a, a seismic, legitimate change is about to occur in terms of what what happens in our world. I think there's always going to be uh, people out there who are abusive of, of power, but I think we can all feel a, a change is about to come. Tarana Burke, who started the Me Too movement about 10 years ago, is on my show this week. Uh, she speaks about it, uh, and I feel so lucky uh, to have the chance to learn from incredible women like that. We really have a chance to do something about this, and I'm, I'm excited that I think it's going to finally happen. You know, as being a mom of two little girls and you're a dad of three girls, and I, my, people always ask me, how did, how did your parents raise you, Megan? The question goes to you. What did your parents do right that made you turn out the way you are? Well, it was not only my parents, uh, but it was all of the incredible people that I was surrounded by, many of whom, most of whom were uh, women. Uh, and I got a chance to see women for what they are, which is equal, if not, <laughs> I think, better than most men out there. You know, my sister's in the Army. My mother was a judge. My manager is a, you know, a Harvard Law graduate from Jamaica. I've surrounded myself and been surrounded by incredible women my whole life. But basically, my mother and father told me to, you know, learn and listen and be respectful of people. People should be treated uh, as equals. I think I said on the air, um, you know, you don't pursue women like some s hunter stalking his prey. You know, th this is a, th that, that's, that's, that type of thinking is over with. You know, we need to uh, put women and men on the same playing field. This is a very normal way for me to think, but I think there's a lot of catching up to do out there. And I'm just glad that, um, that, that we have a chance to talk about it. And by the way, this has nothing to do with being a father of daughters. This has to do with how I was raised way, way, way uh, before that. Um, so, you know, 
fingers crossed, I think we're at a, at a real uh, tipping point. Well, you know, Harry, as the, as the saying goes, sometimes it really does take a village. Listen, you have some exciting shows coming up in February, and we'll be watching Harry airs weekdays at 2 right here on Fox 11. Thanks for joining us this morning. It's always great to see you, Harry. Great to be with you all. Thanks for watching. Bye, Harry. I'm such a huge fan. Yeah. No, I actually he, want to. It was a serious he's, he's topic. He's a really great guy. Great dude. All, all right. right.